Hello YouTube, it's Sven from Game. Sorry, I blinded myself with my light there. So I'm gonna make a recording um, with, uh, basically I'm in Old English, sort of. And I was uh, on a YouTube video about medieval music and someone was talking about how Old English was incomprehensible to them, so I, I typed out the intro to Beowulf and then I started looking for the word is in Old English so I could write some original text in it. And so on the Wikipedia article about it, it, I realized there's um, the original translation, you know, not translation, but the original Old English text, then a translation, like, with the modern word, so like, gar to gare instead of spear, and then a semi-fluent translation of modern English. So, I figured I would read, I'd go ahead and um, read those, and then I'd read the modern one from uh, Seamus Haney's book. I'm not sure if you can see it. I'll have to go back to the YouTube tab. Yeah, you can see it. So, open to the page, just a little bit of the beginning. Sam uh, has great work. So, anyway. What? We guard in an yard of the gum fired cuninga, broom ye brun on, who the eye setting us any from it on. Of shield shedding sharp and a thraptum, money who mag from made a sail of sack, egg sail over us. Sooth an arras wild fat shaft fund and hit us for over ye bath, wilks under wolf moon wired moon than sack. Ota dim aich vuk tare umsid hender over from rare hura and shoulda yom van yudan that was yod kuning. All right, so you notice I made a couple mistakes, and I like I said yod instead of gold, and I said fundan for whatever reason I say fundan fundan instead of funden, but and I also used a couple schwas where I should have said an a. But overall, not too bad. Probably better than a lot of the other ones on YouTube. I know here's the translation with you know like archaic words. Um, I'll probably go into Old English pronunciation and parts of it, so it'll sort of be this weird mixture of modern and old, and so it'll be interesting. What? We of God in, in wait, we of God in, in your days of fade kings, did broom frame, how the Zathanings did Ellen frame, of shoot, of the chills shedding shadow threats, uh, of many mags of me the settlements at tea, and boog elves, sith erst they wore, in few ships that are f found, hey, he of his trover abode in wax under welkin, and amid warfmen's breed, off that came each of those umsetters, of over well rode here should, and yam yield, that was a good king. So I messed up a couple times, probably because I'm shining my light at my computer monitor and stuff, right at my face, because you can't see me, and I can't see it either, so, uh, it's, but it's messing up some of the screen, so I don't know how it works, it's working out. Um, so yeah, that was, uh, interesting. I, I did sort of stutter a little bit, I should probably should have practiced it a bit more, but uh, it's still interesting. So here's the semi-fluent translation. Lo, we have heard of majesty and the sphere danes of those nation kings in the days of yore, and how those noblemen promoted zeal. Shield shedding took away mead benches from bands of enemies, from many tribes he terrified earls. Since he was first found destitute, he gained consolation for that. He grew under the heavens, prospered in honors, until each of those who lived around him over the sea had to obey him to give him tribute. That was a good king. And here's the Samatini's version. Uh, so, the spear Danes in the days gone by, and the kings who ruled over them had courage and greatness. We have heard of those princes' heroic campaigns. There was Shield Schiefsen, scourge of many tribes. A regular of mead benches ran paging among foes. The terror, this terror of whole troops had come far. A foundling to start with, he would flourish later on, is as pallid as wax, and his worth was proved. In the end, each clan in the outlying coast beyond the railroad had to yield to him and to pay him tribute. That was one good king. So, there we are. And as an added bonus, I'll go ahead and get the Lord Prayer go. Uh, I haven't practiced this. In fact, I've rarely read it, so uh, I'll just, you know, I won't be using a pre-memorized version of the Old English text. I'll be trying to read it and pronounce it as I go along, so it'll be interesting, too. Father Ure, who say art on help on them, Si fin uh, nama yer halo hargod, uh, tobe kume fin riche, yer worth ye fin wila on ervan swa swa on heofonum, ure uh, ye dag ye dag wam likan, uh, ye, ye dag wam likan <laughs> laugh, sule ustodar, and for ye for ye us ure gutas, swa swa ye way for gutas urum ye. Gutelum, and the Galad Uthu Us on Kos Nunge Ak Alis Us of Ifele Sothliche. Oh, there's another one in Old English. It's even longer. The Charter of Knut. Proclamation from King Knut to his heir of Thorkel the Tall. Okay, 
written AD 1020, so this is later Old English. Um, well, uh, I wasn't really originally going to read all that, and I'll, you know, I probably won't because it's long and I haven't practiced it. But anyways, so there we have it. A uh, couple readings of some texts of Beowulf. We had originally, we had first the uh, original Old English text, then we had sort of a modern English, but only like, you know, the Germanic words, and then we had the rough translation, and then Samasini's version, and then an added text, the Lord's Prayer. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you are better at pronouncing Old English than I am, please upload yours, because everyone wants to know what it actually sounded like. Um, I'm, I'm using on the glot Wiki, Wikipedia, like the interpretation of Old English on there, the pronunciation. Um, not perfect, um, especially since we don't know exactly how Old English spelled, uh, sounded, but the comparative method is pretty decent, I think. Um, but anyway, I hope uh, my, my uh, going by Wikipedia on the glot, though, my, my pronunciation was pretty decent. So if you are searching the YouTube for what Old English sounded like, that most of that was likely fairly close. I hope. We all. Well, I hope at least. Anyways, thanks for watching, and you may subscribe if you wish, or not. I upload random recorder videos all the time. Not all the time, like occasionally. I, I just, I don't know, I just upload random recorded videos. I'll stop talking now, because the last minute of this video was just, well, me talking about random things. And so, yes. Goodbye.